Did you know that the old product pages for Garmin newbies on Amazon are still out there? If you search for, let's just say, Garmin Nuvi 50, Amazon.com, and you, that is the entire search phrase, Garmin Nuvi 50, Amazon.com, you can actually find the old Amazon page with all the original user reviews out there. And uh, you can read them. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. Just for historical purposes. Well, this is not a new V50, but I'm showing it on purpose. One thing you will see a lot in old Amazon reviews is uh, reviewers who say, you know, my old Garmin routed so much better than this new one. I don't know what's going on. And I've read a lot of these. And uh, it comes down to when did Garmin change the search algorithm? You hear about algorithms a lot when it comes to internet search engines. Well, Garmin's have a routing algorithm in them. And they have been adjusted and changed over the years. Where it had a major change is right here with this model specifically. This is the 2457, which on the five inch model end would include the 2557 and then the 2597 and then on down the line. I can even put it down to an exact month and year, March 2013, because that is when this was released. And that is when the search algorithm internal to this changed. This is when you will see Amazon reviewers reviewing a model like this saying, oh, my Nuvi 1490 routed so much better than this, or my uh, Nuvi 760 or 885 routed so much better than this new one. I oh I what's going on I'm not sure I used to trust the routing on my old one and this new one is terrible and so on and so forth it did change and what I did is because I own so many of them I uh, I wanted to determine for myself where do I see the routing algorithm change the most and it's right here it is when right after the essentials line so you have the newbie 30 40 50 and then you have the 42 44 52 and 54 which was january 2013 and then just two months later this series that's when things changed and it was different and how i determined this is i have a, a specific route that's local to me. And I notice even on my Drive Smart 76, when I tell it don't take the highway, just don't do it, it effectively ignores that. Now, th there is a route in Texas called uh, US 75, and to the left and right of that is called the Expressway, or the Central Expressway through Northern DFW. I'm sorry, DFW is Dallas-Fort Worth. Okay, now technically that is not the highway, but it's right next to it. And, uh, I mean, there are traffic lights on it and everything. So again, not the highway. Like what it's on right now, I-35, that's highway. Obviously, that's an interstate. US-75 is also a highway, but the expressway is not. So technically, the Garmin is correct. Technically. But if I use something older than this, anything older than this model, it will not use the expressway. If I tell it, don't use the highway, it will not use the expressway, which is what I want. I don't want to use the expressway. I would rather go on to smaller, slower roads, as in not highway or highway-like. But with this one, on that test route that I use, it will always use the expressway. 
And unless I specifically tell this thing, if I go, for example, to a, a detour right here, if I specifically, I have to manually enable a detour in order to get off the expressway. But oh my God, this thing has just got such a thing for that road. It's like, no, 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 you want the expressway. You want the expressway. Like, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I do not. But it will just keep doing it. And it's from here all the way to present model, all the way up to the Drive Smart 76. If I want that older routing algorithm, I have to go older than this. I would have to use a new V, uh, the latest would be a new V54 or older. And it doesn't matter if I'm using Garmin maps or if I am using OpenStreetMap because regardless of the map data, well, the routing algorithm doesn't change because that is internal to the unit. And I'm sure some of you would ask, well, can I change it? No, no. That is uh, hard-coded into the Nuvi, and it doesn't matter uh, what... Okay, I was about to say, it doesn't matter what software revision you have. I think it does. Some software revisions will route certain ways, and others will route different ways, and but more or less, it's pretty much hard-coded into it so when I want the old route and, and why am I telling you all this because if you if you have been using these things long enough and you remember wow those old ones used to route so much better what changed well the change happened in March 2013 that is when the change occurred if you want it back as in you want that old routing algorithm back well, you got to go older than this. You have to go with a new V54 or 44 or older than that or a new V255 um, or a 765 or I'm trying to think of other models that would be in there. Oh, 3790 maybe. I wouldn't use that one personally, but that is one of them or any of the Essentials models like the 30, 40, and 50. Now, you've heard me talk about the Nuvi 40 a bunch of times. This is yet another reason why I love the 40 so much, is because of that older routing algorithm. Now, and the last thing I'll say is that if you are familiar enough with your surroundings, this is assuming you're driving somewhere where you know where you are in a general sense, if it if this thing is going to put you on a road that you just do not want to take. Now, true, I could go in here and I can go to custom avoidances and I could add an avoid road or avoid area. I can do that if I want to. But the honestly, the better way to go about it is if you have a general familiarity with where you're driving just ignore the directions this thing gives until you get to where you want to go and then pay attention to it. And I believe that's par for the course with pretty much, uh, if you, you've been using Garmin's for more than a year, yeah, and most of my viewers, you guys have been using Garmin's probably a long time. You know there are sometimes this thing will just give you routes that are odd or weird it's been like that ever since these things have existed there's no such thing as a perfect navigator with perfect routing that just doesn't exist although some believe and, and there's a little bit of truth to this that the pre march 2013 models really did have as close to a perfect routing algorithm excuse me algorithm as you could get so, mm. so if you were ever wondering, it's like, man, you know, I remember those old guys. They, they seemed to route better. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. If you go prior to March 2013, basically an Essentials model or one of the older 205s or 755s or 855, whatever, then yeah, you'll get the old one back. You can just... Put OpenStreetMap on it and off you go.